Hey kids, welcome back to this course on the introduction to Scratch. In this model, we're going to be looking at the Scratch interface. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the Scratch website, that's scratch.mit.edu. And if you are not signed in, you click on the sign in and fill in your details. So mine is Pinky the Brain 001 and then your password. Now you click on the create link. Now the create is going to open up an editor, right? Now the editor is where we create all our games, our stories, anything that we want to do. Now for those of you using the offline version, just open your Scratch application. If you are creating a project already, just click on file and then new, right? So you have a new workspace. Good. All right. So we're going to talk about the different parts of the Scratch interface. I'm going to keep it very simple so that I don't confuse you. Yes. Now we have the toolbar here. If you click on file, you can click on the new project. You can download to your computer and things like that. At this point is where you specify the name of your project. So for example, I could say project one, right? We're not going to be creating any projects in this particular model, but I just want to show you that this is the name of your project. Now this button can go from full screen to not full screen, all right? And, and then you have two buttons here, the green flag and the red, which means stop. So think about a traffic light. Green means go, red means stop. In a program, green means run my program and then red means stop running my program. Right, now Scratch uses the concept of like actors playing on a stage, right? The stages are called backdrops, the actors are called sprites, and then the actions that they perform are called scripts, right? So this is a backdrop, it's just a white backdrop, and then we have a cat, a cat is just a sprite on the backdrop, right? We can change our backdrop from here. So you have choose backdrop from library, we can paint a new backdrop, we can upload a backdrop from our computer, or we can take a picture of a backdrop, like if you have a webcam. So if I click on this choose backdrop from library, you can see all the backdrops that we have, yeah? I'm just going to close this. The same way we can also choose different sprites. We can add a new sprite from the library, or we can paint, or we can upload and things like that, yes? Now this is where we have our script, and we have different blocks that make up our script. So you notice this is motion, and as you can see, we have a lot of blocks that we can use, yes? Now you pull your blocks, to use your blocks, you pull them into this area here, right? And then you, like, you can, they look like Lego pieces, they can snap together just like that, yeah? Now, if it's too small, you can use this to increase it, use this to reduce it, use this to take it back to the default. And then we also have costumes for our character as well. Some sprites have different costumes, so if I come here, we have costume one and costume two. Now, what do you use costumes for? Use them for animation. So if I change this really quick, it looks like the cat is working, yeah? So we're going to see some really cool stuff. Now you also have sound. Um, of course, a cat makes the meow sound. Let's play it, <coughs> meow, haha. <laughs> and then you can also add new sounds from the library or you can upload your own sound or record your own sound, yes? Now, if you want to delete a block, you just take it and throw it away and it's deleted. Now, one thing I'd like to address is when you are moving the cat around, notice that some numbers are changing, right? Keep your eyes on some numbers, yeah? They are changing here, they are also changing here. So right now the cat is on minus 118 and 30. If I move it here, it's on 13786. So this movement is about my mouse, while this one shows the location of the actor at a particular time. Don't worry about the X and Y axis, we'll talk about it later. Now, this has been a very good introduction to the Scratch interface. One more thing before we go, if you click on tips, you have different tips here. So you can follow the step-by-step -step to create your own project. You can look at how to, you can look at the different blocks to get like what the blocks are for, yes. So this has been a very good introduction. In the next model, we create our first Scratch project. I hope you're excited about that.